Okay, I thought I'd do this. Um, it's uh, an estimation question that's slightly more tricky, okay, but doable, okay, and nothing to be scared about when you see this. So it's worth following here my steps to see if uh, it makes sense to you. Now, when you estimate this on the top there, that becomes 900, yeah? Okay, that's easy enough. That one there, remember when, you, when you're dealing with small numbers, okay, and you have to be careful how you round, that there I would say is 0 0.1, okay? Okay, be sensible there, right? Be careful with small numbers, 0 0.1. On the bottom is the interesting bit, isn't it? Okay, because we're squaring this, okay? And you might think, well, how on earth am I meant to estimate this? It's not really a problem if you just take your time over it, okay? If that square wasn't there, right, think about it that way. If that square wasn't there, just ask yourself, what would you round that to, right? So I'm covering up that square. What would you round 0 0.3152? To? Bearing in mind now, it's got to be sensible. It's got to be close to it. I would look for 0 0.3. That's what I'd be looking for. Now let's put that square back in, okay? Now that I've rounded it, let's put that square back in. So now we've got to work out this. Okay, and it's not difficult, right, if you think about it. 0 0.3 squared. Now, you might, not know, you might know what that is automatically. You might know the answer to 0 0.3 squared is 0 0.09. You might just know how that works, okay? If you don't, just think 0 0.3 squared, I'll write it down here, is just 0 0.3 times 0 0.3, yeah? And of course, when you multiply decimals, I, I simply just remove the decimal points. I ignore them. So I, I would do, in this case, 3 times 3, which is 9. Okay. And of course, when you go back to this then, right, you've got two decimal places, haven't you? You've got one there and one there. So in my answer, I need to have two decimal places. So one of them will be a 0, one of them will be a 9. There's my two decimal places. So that's why you're 0 0.09. Okay. Of course, up here as well, we can apply the same idea, can't we? We can apply the same idea to, to decimals up here. 900 times 0 0.1. Well, you can think, well, let's ignore that decimal point. Let's just pretend it's not there. Okay? And just do 900 times, what is it? 1. So the point isn't there. You 900 times 1. It's just 900, isn't it? Yeah? But of course... There's one, there is a point there, there is one decimal place, so if there's one decimal place here, there'll be one in the answer. So this becomes 90.0, okay, or just 90, yeah? Now you're left with this, and you might think, okay, well that is challenging, okay? That's really challenging as it is. It has to be better to just write it as 90 over 0 0.09, okay? But on the bottom, you know, let's, let's see if we can scale this up. Let's scale it up so, we, so it becomes a whole number. Now, if I times it by 10, I'll get 0 0.9. So I need to times it by 100, don't I? Times it by 100, I'll get 9, okay? Times the top by 100 as well, yeah? If you times the top by 100, you add two zeros. So you end up having 9,000 divided by 9, which, of course, is 1,000, okay?